Corydorus catfish are one of the most wonderful little fish you can put in a fish tank. Um, you can see them here, we've got albinos, bronzes, peppers. Um, the peppers are particularly cool because they can go in cold water. So you can have them indoors in tanks with goldfish and they can clean up the crap from the goldfish. So the peppered corys are, are really spectacular. I think any tropical tank should have a little school of corys. And once again, they love to be together, so getting a little group of them is spectacular. So they've got these little barbells on the front of their face that they use for scouting around and basically eating poo from the other fish out of the gravel, which is a great service. They just suck through the gravel and suck any waste out of the gravel. They don't disturb your plants too much. They're an egg scatterer. They often breed in the tank, but you'll never know it because all the eggs just get consumed by the other fish. They're peaceful, they're active, they're interesting. Um, as a typical community fish, they're absolutely perfect. As I said, I really just think they should be in every fish tank, whether you've got a goldfish tank, whether you've got a tropical tank. Um, things like cichlids aren't too good because you don't want anything that's going to pick on them too much. But I just think they're a beautiful little addition. Um, they handle a range of pHs, but around 7 is the best. A little bit of salt in the water doesn't hurt them, it helps their immune system. Keep a KH of about 4 if you can. They don't mind the temperature a bit warmer as well, but as I said, the peppers, they're, they're all pretty tolerant of temperature. They can handle it a bit warmer and they seem to be able to handle it a little bit colder. So there's a beautiful tank here with some lovely dwarf guamis as well. Perfect scavengers, can't say enough good things about Corydorus. Just get at least six because they're really entertained by each other's company. Perfect for beginners, a must.